Hey everyone, Lotho King Scala here, also known as Stairs, and welcome back to more Life is Strange True Colors. Um, some very serious stuff happened uh, in the last episode where our girl accidentally hurt her brother in a physical fight um, because her powers and the emotions in the room were incredibly overwhelming her. And I don't want to sit here and psychoanalyze this whole game, but that's probably what's going to happen. So, let's let's go on into it, as I remember all the right buttons to press. And we're still into the next cutscene, so. Oh. She didn't mean it. Now she's going to beat herself up for it. Hey. I'm loving those water effects. I'm okay. You're okay. Oh, she's crying. Yeah. <sighs> Take a moment to think of Jeff. I'm okay. Flexibility, love, and trust. Take a moment to think of I'm Jeff. Okay. Flexibility, love, and trust. It's what I say to myself instead of okay. Because it's okay to not be okay. So when I... I guess I might as well unpack. What's going on here? Oh, I replied at least. Hey Alex, this is Ryan. It was nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking to you more later. Nice meeting, nice meeting you too. Sounds good. Oh, Steph! Hey Alex, it's Steph. Sorry I had to run out like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the Lantern tonight. Oh, are we having like a get-together party? Super cool. Chelsea. Wait, we have a long list of some stuff. Dating back a few years, because it's 2019 at the time of this, so... Hey Alex, it's, it's Chelsea. Thanks so much for your help with Harley last night. My jaw is still sore, but it could have been way worse if you didn't step in. Hey Chelsea, I'm glad you're okay. Harley is awful. Don't worry, not every girl in this is that bad in foster care. Text me if you need me, okay? Loves, OMG, thank you. I didn't think I was going to get any birthday gifts. The necklace is beautiful. Oh. God, I want to just cry right now. Okay, that just killed me. Happy birthday. Don't be too thankful. I bought it at a pawn shop. LOL. Hey, orphans can't be picky, right? Truth. Okay, hold on. Why does... Why did they text like my friend and I text exclusively? Hey Alex, sorry to bother you. Can you spare any pads? I'm having a situation here. Ooh, rip. No, brother. No, no, brother? Or is it supposed to be like, oh, brother? Check the drawer in my nightstand. I think I stashed them in there. You remain my hero. Thank you. Hearts. What's with all the space before the heart? Anyway. Hey Chelsea, I have something important to tell you and I didn't want to wait. At the end of the month, I'm going to move to Colorado to live with my brother. Leaving you is literally the only downside of this plan. I'm really sorry. Just know that I'm always a phone call or text away. Congrats! In all caps. Don't be sorry, I'm happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? I want to hear all about it. Sounds good. Good luck today, I miss you. Um... I'll miss you. Don't let anyone push you around, okay? You're out as hell. Life's been hard these past few years, but I'm really glad we met. Me too. Dude. I want to see Dr. Lin's before I read Gabe's. So, this dates back to 2018. Alex, we have a session scheduled in my office. Are you going to make it? Alex, punctual attendance of scheduled sessions with your assigned counselor are preconditioned to your residence a helping hands, Alex. Let's call this strike one. You're the worst doctor I have ever seen. I haven't even seen you. How, how can you actually be a proper therapist and psychologist without understanding that things happen? Let alone, can you imagine if this poor girl has ADHD? She's not going to remember this. She's not going to remember to, to show up sometimes. It happens. The amount of times that memory loss is tied to mental illness is unfathomably large. 
to the point where they're having a hard time studying it because it's hard to get reliable test subjects that show up because they keep forgetting that they're scheduled for the study. Ugh. For our session yesterday, to pilot the self by Dr. Levi Habertner. Right, thanks. Hope you find it helpful just checking in. How are you feeling after everything? Is Heather okay? She's upset, which I think you'll agree is understandable, but she's not hurt. I'm so sorry. Alex, where are you? Your things are gone. Who are you with? Alex, please get in touch with me. No one knows where you are. Alex, I realize you're in an emotionally involved vulnerable position right now. I'd like to speak with you before I leave for the night. Are you settled in? I don't I wouldn't want to talk to a doctor who's like this. Yes. May I stop briefly by your room? Yes. Good luck in this new chapter of your life. Please know that I am here for you if you need me. This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages from their number. I just recent. When did I block them? Like, after that? No. They sent me that recently. Like, today. And I blocked them. Interesting. Alex? Who's this? Holy shit. Alex Chen? Sorry, who is this? It's Gabe. Is this some kind of joke? No, you dork. Call me right now. <laughs> like, same? Hey, it was so rad catching up yesterday. Chat again later? Yeah, sure. How was your weekend? Oh, we get to go all the way back to them finding out about each other. Pretty good. Charlotte and I took Ethan hiking. Tons of fun. How about you? We finally listened to the new Paint Thinner Coffee album. They're killing it. PTC? Rips! You ever seen them live? Not yet. Def will when I get a chance. Hey, how are things? Alex! Sorry I haven't texted you. Things are crazy busy. How are you? Things are weird right now. Dealing with it. Which, this would be a few months after the Heather thing. Do you need help? No, I'm okay, thanks. Alien, would you ever want to live in Haven? Duck. Duck. Not alien. You're not an alien. You're alien. Al Ali? Al Al Is that Al it's supposed to be Alex? Autocorrect, lol, this phone's an idiot. Allie, you awake? Hello, hey bud. Have you been drinking? No, this is my natural state to answer the question. <laughs> okay, wait. Don't call me out like that, dude. Go to bed! Oh, fuck. I drunk texted you. <laughs> yeah, dude. I... You know, I could tell, dude. Um, I've, I've been on the... I've texted many of those messages. Seriously, though, for real, offer stands. Haven's cool. Hey, what's up? Haven't heard from you in a few days. Are you alright? Alex, call me when you get this. Are, how are you holding up? I'm okay. It's been shitty here, but we've been through worse. Let me know if you need anything. we Will do. I can't believe you're coming! Yes! Okay, so we had to have called him at some point in between. Me neither. Thanks for sending the ticket. You're a lifesaver. Of course, we've been excited to have you here. Tomorrow's the big day. Do you need anything? Nope, I'm good. I don't have much to carry, you know? Rock and roll. Hey, I'm about an hour away. Can't wait. I'm ready for you. Bus just pulled in. Oh my god, this is... Oh! She so looks kind of checked out, though, I'm gonna be honest. World's okay as boyfriend. I think she's checked out because he apologized with flowers and still doesn't know what he did wrong, but hey. God, you were right. Re-sunflowers. Feels like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out when you have a sec. Cool, thanks. There's a sword. Hold up. We're stopping everything to look at the sword. Is that a sword? It's a LARP sword. What about the medals? What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Stop with the cutting, with the cutting sarcasm, my friend. Please, I'm not, this is not, I'm not. <laughs> oh. Alex. Do I want to know? It's probably plans for like what we're going to do. Or it's my foster care yes, file. Yes, I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oh, welfare services. 
try program director unable to release location. Alex placed at group home in Portland area. Helping hands group Anita home. Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I are very happy to hear from you. We are glad that you are doing well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she has now been taken into the system. We don't know where she lives now. Here's the phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help. Line only available third Wednesday of the month? Question marks. Oregon Child Protective Services. Try Human Services. Child Welfare. Wish you the best luck in finding her. The Moraleses. Like, especially because Eduardo and Anita, like, that would be Puerto Rican. So, like, we're close to, like, Miles Morales? Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for oh. a while. Nope. <laughs> Dude. Automated voicemail follow-up. Old number. Now some dude named Adam. No. Got through. Not her. 2018 Portland. Not in phone book. Hey, he really tried. He, that was 2018 written at the top of this. It's early 2019. So he's been... Then that also explains, like, the weird text. Excuse me? So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This oh. is fucking stupid. Is she gonna be upset with me for punching her boyfriend into oblivion? <clears throat> Miss Lathe, your application for CIT's 2019 summer program launch pad has been reviewed. We are pleased to inform you that you have been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. Gabe, ah, it's happening. Please, please, please help me prep. Riley. The fact that she didn't feel comfortable telling that to her boyfriend, who clearly has an anger issue, is kind of a sign to me. Dude, I love the oil slick. Oh, so that's the, the rage. Anything else? Can I look at it with the rage? Because, like... What's happening? Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, wow. right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to fucking juvie wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. That man is incredibly insecure. And on top of that, he's also the kind of person who believes in, like, the good guy TM concept of, like, women owe him something by being his friend. And that's, like, very apparent. Um, what's in the dresser? Do we have anything in here? Oh, I can customize her outfit. No way. Gabe has this photo, Aww. too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only <laughs> kind of an asshole. Man, I want to see what my options are clothing-wise. What? Oh, whoa. Not comfortable for my senses. Eh? I'm kind of actually... I could do either of these, but... I'm just gonna stick with the base neutral. There was an option for getting more. Charlotte made this? Wow. Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like... Yeah. Professionally. That's incredible. I could never make something so personal. Oh, you you could. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. No. Broadcasting straight from your local <laughs> record store. 
Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. You got some points Whoa. there. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Yeah. He's the one that helped him turn his life around, it looks like. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art. Wow. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Yeah. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? You know what? It wouldn't shock me, but then again, the people out in this area, like, they, they hunt and they use the whole deer. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. I've done that. I've straight up done that. Huh. You've really Son changed the art style since I read these. Huh. Alright. Uh, I don't want to go to the turntable. Okay, so let's go to my bag. Alright. Open her up. Do I get more clothing options now? Also, I have a betta fish. He didn't take the betta fish. Unpack shoo shoo? Who's shoo shoo? Oh god. Shoo shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. Oh. She's gotten me through some hard times, Aww. but I was hoping we were done with that. No. It's always good to have a comfort object like that. I still have my pink blanket from when I was little. Wait, has none of my desktop audio been recording? Oh, okay. I ain't, I don't need the heart attack. What do we got? Oh, Ethan's comic book. Ethan's really talented. Makes yeah. sense that his mom's an artist. Also, I want to know whose job it was to draw these comic books. Because they're like, make this look like a kid did it, but good. And like, it, it's like they almost had to try to not be good. Ah. <laughs> uh. Man, this is, this is actually, this would also be a really cool video game. I wonder where he's getting these ideas. Oh, you know what? Probably from his time in the caves. Yeah, that's gotta be his time in the caves, right? What kind of letters we got? Where are we gonna put them? Hey, Alex. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Are you still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm going to delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple of times for a place to stay. Now he's harassing me. I'm leaving Bur Burnside. The supervised, yeah, the supervisor's a roast, and he keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options. But you know me, I'll get creative. Anyway, I hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you fucked her hook? LOL. Miss your dumbass. At least she cared. Sydney. More than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting. It was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Miss August. I really wish those meds had worked. Man. Six milligrams. That's that's a fair amount of milligrams. For for psychiatric meds. Chelsea. The rare bright oh, spot from my time in the group home. Oh. Dear Alex, happy birthday. Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sunup to sundown. Real talk, though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we've met. 
I felt safe and happy and even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for being the way, for the way you beat Harley's ass, for letting me wear all your clothes even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. No. Let's unpack the photo. Same one that he's got, but we've clearly ripped our parents out of it. Crazy how much we've changed. Deliberately cut, too, not ripped. We deliberately cut them out of the picture, because look at those sharp edges. What? Are you going to put it on the other side covering your parents, or are you going to put it on the same side and layer it up? Covering dad, specifically. That does explain some things. But, unfortunately, we are not going to get to see what else is in the Wonder Bag in this episode. So... Thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. And be sure to hit that little notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Life is Strange True Colors. Take care everyone.